Let's go over how you can draw arrows using Inkscape. So to do this, we're gonna use the pencil tool, which is located over here in the toolbar. You can also access it by pressing the letter P on your keyboard. And the setting we're going to use is this setting over here on the left, create regular Bezier path. So make sure you have that selected. And to get started, I'm gonna click on the canvas to create the starting point of the arrow. And I'm gonna move my line wherever I would like the arrow to be going, whichever direction I'd like it to go. And then I'll click again to apply the end point of the arrow. So now we're going to edit this so that it looks more like an arrow. I'm gonna come down here to where it says stroke and I'm gonna double click this stripe right here. And that's gonna open up the fill and stroke menu. So I'll expand this menu a little bit. And what I'm looking for is the stroke style menu. So I'm gonna click on that tab and I'm gonna make this stroke larger by clicking on this plus button. Let me zoom in on this first. I'm gonna grab my selection tool and I'm gonna hold up this plus icon by holding a click over it. And it's gonna increase the size of the line. And now we're gonna turn this line into an arrow by coming over here to where it says markers. And we're gonna choose the third dropdown option. And then from this menu, you can choose the arrow head style you'd like to use. For this demonstration, I'll use this one right here. Now, if you notice when I apply that, the arrow head is pretty large compared to the rest of the arrow. If you're happy with that size, then you're good to go. But if you wanna make it smaller or larger, just come over here to where it says size X and reduce this number. Now, the thing is with this menu, if you click the minus button, you'll see it reduces the size by almost 100% and then you can't see it anymore. So what you'll have to do is manually type in a numerical value. So for my demonstration here, I'll bring this down to 0.65 and we end up with something like that right there. And that looks pretty good. Now let me close out of this. If you wanna change the style of this arrow, if you notice here, the end of the arrow has a square cap. If you wanna make it rounded, just click on the rounded option in the cap menu. And now you have a rounded cap. And if you wanna use a rounded arrowhead, you could choose that from the drop down menu. Make this one smaller as well. And now what you can do is you can change the arrow direction by grabbing the nodes tool. And you could take this node and click and drag to move it around. And if you notice by doing that, you're changing the direction of the arrow. And you can do the same thing over here with this node. You can move this around. And if you wanna make the arrow curved, just click and drag on the path. And then you can change the curvature of the arrow like that. And then you can use these handles to edit it even further. So if you wanna make this S shaped, you can do that. And if you wanna make it a straight line again, just hold control and click on the handle to delete it. And now we have a straight path. What you can also do is you could double click on the path and then you'll get a new node here and you could take that node and move it around just like that. So now you have a bent arrow. Now you may notice the corner of the arrow right here at this angle anyway is a sharp corner. If you want to make that rounded, just come over here to where it says join and choose the rounded option. And now it looks consistent with the rest of the design. And if you want to change the color of your arrow, you could just come over here to the stroke paint tab and you can choose your color from this menu over here. Now, one thing to keep in mind is, I'm gonna grab the selection tool. If you go to change the size of this arrow, for example, I'm gonna hold Control and Shift and scale it up. You'll notice that as I scale it up, it becomes thinner or smaller. Well, the arrow itself is not becoming smaller. The size of the stroke remains the same, regardless of the size of the path. So it doesn't scale proportionally. If I were to scale this down more, you could see we get something like that. If you wanna maintain the size of the arrow while you scale it, just select this option up here in the tool settings menu that says when scaling objects, scale the stroke width by the same proportion. And now you can scale that object without changing the size or changing the appearance anyway of the stroke. So let's have a look at some other ways in which you can draw arrows using this method. I'm gonna grab the pencil tool again. And this time I'm gonna choose the create spiral path option. And I'm gonna click and drag on the canvas to draw a curved line like that. And I'll come back over here to the stroke style menu. I'm gonna increase the size of that stroke. And I'm going to apply an arrow head using this third dropdown menu. And I'll go with this one this time. And I'm gonna reduce the size of that to 0.7. And now what I'm gonna do is, let's say we wanted to take this line. Let me grab the nodes here and adjust this a little bit. Let's say we wanted to take this line and make this a series of arrows, sort of like a dotted line only made of arrows. To do that, let me grab my selection tool. I'm gonna to come over here to the, well, first I have to open the path effects menu. I'll go to path and choose path effects. And the path effect I'm looking for, I'm just gonna type it into the search box here. I'm gonna type dashed, and it should be this option right here, dashed stroke. 
And what I'll do is where it says use segments, let's disable that. And where it says number of dashes, let's increase that value. Let's go for maybe six dashes. And I'm going to increase this value right here to bring down the size between those shapes or between those segments. And I'm gonna deselect this option right here that says equalize dashes. Or actually no, half start, half end. That's the one, that's the one we want to disable. And now we have consistent length dashes going through. I'll bring this down to increase the spacing between those. And then I'm going to convert this to a path by going to path and selecting object to path. And then I'll go to path and select break apart. And now we have a series of individual arrows. Now this looks kind of large. So what I'm gonna do is go back to the fill and stroke menu and decrease the size of this. And there we go. Now we have a dotted line made of arrows. Now let's have a look at how we can make a circle of arrows. I'm gonna grab my circle and ellipse tool and I'll hold control and shift and click and drag to draw a circle. And then I'm gonna apply a stroke to this circle by holding shift and clicking on the black swatch. And then I'm gonna remove the fill by clicking on the red X over here. And then I'll come over here to my stroke style tab. I'm gonna choose my arrowhead from the marker dropdown. And I'll bring down the size of that about in half. So I'll use 0.5. And now I'm gonna go back to my path effects menu. Let me zoom in on this. I'm gonna apply the dash stroke path effect again. And I'm gonna increase the number of segments or dashes. And I'm gonna increase the size between them by lowering this value. Or you know what, let me use fewer dashes. And I'll bring down this size. Now when working with circles, you wanna, you'll want to leave this option enabled right here that says half start end and equalize dashes. We'll use that, we'll leave that enabled as well. I'm gonna disable use segments. So now we have four total dashes as opposed to four per segment. And now we can increase this and have more granular control over the appearance. And in fact, I will increase the spacing or decrease the spacing between these segments. And now I'll convert that to a path by going to path and selecting object to path. And then we'll go to path and select break apart. And now we have a circle of arrows. Now, if you notice, we have an extra segment in here. That's not a problem. We could just click on it and press delete to get rid of it. And now we have our circle of arrows. So let me select all of these and I'll go back to my fill and stroke menu. And with all of them selected, you will be able to edit their appearance. So let's say we wanna use a squared cap to make it look consistent. Or let's say we wanted to add a tail to the arrow, something like this right here. We could do that as well. Now let me bring down the size of that. And I'll bring down the size of the stroke as well. I'll use something like eight, see how that looks. And I'll use a different shape for the tail. Let me bring that down. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.